Self-awareness for career planning involves understanding your personality. And you can think about personality in terms of the big five personality traits, which you can remember with the acronym OCEAN. O is for openness. To what extent do you like new ideas and new experiences? C is for conscientiousness. How organized and, and diligent are you? E is for extroversion. How outgoing and sociable are you? A is for agreeableness. How kind and, and caring are you? And N is for neuroticism. How moody and anxious are you? It's important to realize these things don't sort of determine your career, but they can shape what bits of your job you find easy, how you do your job, and how you integrate work with the rest of your life. Now, it's true that you're, if you're sort of extremely disagreeable, you're unlikely to be a good counsellor. Most people want their counsellor to at least pretend that they like them. But it is possible to be an introverted salesperson, for example. It may even be an advantage because you're, you're sort of not in people's face and, and therefore they find it easier to trust you. But all that time with people during the week might mean that you need a little bit more time by yourself on the weekends. Check out the rest of my uh, content for info about personality tests. But remember, you've got to avoid being simplistic when it comes to thinking about personality and career planning. Hey, it's Jeremiah here, and don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and of course, check out the website, peoplesquad.com.